Hey guys, Mike, Ball Python Boulevard here. Man, I had to rush to get this. Uh, just did some uh, rat cleaning that, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm a little sweaty over here. But we got a couple exciting clutches, good and bad, obviously, with these. These are the last two in the incubator, so uh, as soon as they... All right, am I back? Lost my internet, had to turn off my Wi-Fi. That thing was not cooperating at all. All right, so hopefully you guys can see me, but uh, we got a um, couple of exciting, exciting clutches. Uh, so clown to a spider blade clown uh, Very 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 excited about uh, Cutting this one all of them, but one pipped uh, So and I checked on them yesterday. There was no pips yesterday. So literally um, The six pips out of the seven eggs all happened um, over the last 24 hours, so very excited. And then our second clutch is a super blast to a coral glow and she. These were laid uh, one day apart um, and they all um, started pipping. So, and on that one, one is out of the egg and two, uh, the other two half pipped. So, very, very, very excited. Let's see who we got on here. Molkin Malone, welcome. These balls. I'm late. I, I'm not late. <laughs> Maybe 30 seconds. I literally ran up the stairs uh, to make this happen. I was like, because I was cleaning and uh, I just wasn't, uh, I wasn't keeping good track of time, I guess, right? Until the last minute. Uh... George Lovin, thanks for jumping on. Well, yeah, it's it's good I'm back because that obviously that Wi-Fi didn't work very well. Clown, yeah, exactly. Clown everything. So I'm super excited. We got Spartan Reptiles on here. And we got Trinity Exotics on here. So we got both Josh's. We got Dylan. We got Kendron here with Puget Sound Pythons. Thanks for jumping on. We got Gray's Reptiles. I think I got everybody. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, looks like it. All right. Are you guys, are you guys ready for this? Are you excited as I am? Well, maybe not because you're not cutting them. But, I mean, hopefully you're excited to see them as, as much as I am here. All right. Let's do this. Get you guys a good angle here. Boom. That should go a little bit higher because I know I always raise my hands too high and then I'm out of the camera view. So I got to make sure I, I stay in here. All right. So once again, clown to a spider blade clown. As you guys can see here. And probably saw in the thumbnail, we got all but one right here that have pipped. I mean, some of these eggs are just shredded up. This one, like, has got cuts all over the place. So, all right, let's get to it. So everything obviously should be clown, since these are visual clowns coming together. Uh, hopefully we'll get some blade clowns. Um, I do like spider, but really I don't want any spider. I'm hoping for some female blade clown uh, holdbacks in here. So I'm crossing, crossing my fingers, cross those fingers for me. All right, we'll start right here at the edge with the super shred. And right off the bat, we got, looks like a spider, spider clown. 
Oh, we might got blade. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. See if we can. How's that view for you guys? You can tell me what you think. At first I thought it was spider, but now I'm thinking it's uh, it's blade. All right. Number two. Alright, that one just looks like a clown. Gorgeous. Gorgeous clown. Alright, number three. Yeah, it's kind of sad that that incubator is going to be all empty. Hopefully we'll get something else that drops here. Really do not want an empty incubator. Oh my God, you are gorgeous. Look at that beautiful head stamp right there. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, number four. And it looks like we're gonna have a clown. As in just plain clown. Here we go. Hopefully we got some girls here and definitely need more clown girls. I got a bunch of heads um, and I got two, two visual clown females, but uh, the rest of my clown stuff is all heads. I'm hoping to have more visuals. I just need to work on getting a powerhouse male clown. Looks like a spider clown. All right, one more on the pip. And then we'll cut the last one. All right, and looks like another Clown, blade, ooh, man, that's some serious, serious stripe right there, gorgeous, just gorgeous, you are beautiful, all right, and last one here, Last one until we hit, hit the second clutch, obviously. All right. This one's still got a lot of juice left. I don't want to be opening too much, but looks like a 
blade clown from what I can see. We got a lot of veins in this one here, so I don't want to mess with it too much. But nice, exciting, beautiful clutch. That one just wants to come out now. All right, what do you guys think? Yeah, definitely uh, at least the the five here should be out pretty quick. So I've always noticed this, the the back of the um, bin, the, 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 the part of the bin that's facing the heat um, panels or that's closest to the heat panels, for some reason, uh, those develop way faster, a lot less yolk in them. Um, and then obviously the ones that are further away from that heat tape, I see that there's always, so I'm almost thinking I need to rotate them a little more, um, but they're all healthy, they're all moving. So I'm excited. I probably do need more airflow, yeah. Morph mechanics, rotating the tubs. Yeah, I think I need to do that a lot more. I mean, I, that's the thing right now. I'm only doing it like the last two weeks where I actually moved the tubs. Um, and I'm actually rotating them down rather than actually rotating their position. Um, and that's because I've had clutches that I have high. So I definitely, the fan, I definitely got to get more circulation in there because it's definitely it's definitely warmer up top so all right super blast to a coral glow and chi and i definitely see a coral glow pippin and definitely see a pastel pinstripe you know that's a lot of, a lot of lines on this guy. All right, so this is the guy that came out. A lot of, a lot of, just very busy, very, very busy. Gorgeous, love it. All right, so that's the one that uh, already came out, and he wants to now come out of the bin. Hopefully, you'll stay there while I cut. All right, there you go, guys. So I'll show you guys. Yeah, he's he just wants to cruise. All right, I'm pretty pretty sure that's a coral glow right there, and then that one's poking out right there as well. All right, let's cut these open and see what we got. And you stay. All right. No, no, you need to. Ooh, you are stunning. Well, right now I'm seeing Coral Glow and Chi Pin is what I'm seeing. I don't, I don't think there's pastel in there. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you guys can't even see how bright he is. He is like super orange. This is horrible lighting. Horrible lighting. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. That is just super, 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 super bright. And this guy is cruising back in the bin for you. 
All right. And the last one here. This one shredded this egg. All right, and he just wants to come in right between the flap here. There we go. All right. Um, and looks like we got pastel pin on this one. Super clean on the pattern. All right. Whew. All right, guys, that's what we got. All right. Who else did we get on here? Anybody else? Lou Bells. Thanks for jumping on. I agree. Coral Glow does make everything better. I couldn't agree with that more. Love Coral Glow. Banana slash banana. Hey, Leatherneck Python. Welcome. Yeah, you saw the runner there, Josh. <laughs> he was definitely running. Mr. Johansson, welcome. All right, I think I got everybody there. All right. Thank you very much, Josh. I appreciate that. GC into everything or CG into everything? Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy, especially with the clown uh, blade project stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, Coral Glow <laughs> into everything. Um, there, you know, there's some stuff like, um, genetic stripe that I wasn't like really all that impressed with, uh, in, um, with core glow. I, I just, I kind of felt like it took away from the core glow in a large, to a large extent. So, but, um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, I, I in general, I love the banana core glow stuff. Um. I don't know if you guys, uh, for those that don't follow me on Facebook, I'm sure you guys, well, for those that you do, I'm sure you saw my latest uh, post with the uh, update on the whole back. And I'll show you, hopefully this comes out really well on camera. Man, man, I, I got to get some better lighting. Seriously, some better, better lighting. Okay. There you go. Man, but that color just doesn't come off very well on the camera because she's way brighter. She That almost looks dull compared to what I'm looking at there. I'll have to look, watch it back and see if it's just the screen or if it's actually capturing it this way but uh it's a leopard um banana 
female. So I'm very, very excited. Oh, yes, 100% uh, head for pied. Sorry, I forgot that part. That's very important. So yeah, very, very excited about this girl. So, and she is growing fast. We got 564 grams. I just weighed her uh, yesterday. So she is putting on weight really, really fast. And I'm just super, super stoked with her and, and how fast she's picking on weight. And I got a bunch of holdbacks from the same clutch that I'm also holding on to, uh, including a, um, a leopard pin cinnamon uh, head pied right there. Very, very excited about this one as well. Uh, that's a girl, obviously. Uh, so very excited for that one. Uh, and then a leopard pin head pied girl. Also very excited for that one. And they're all putting on weight really fast. They haven't missed a meal uh, from the beginning. So it's boom. Mouse, adult mouse every five days. They're just eating like champs. Eating like champs. So, and then uh, obviously I, um, I got what I really like. I'll tell you guys what, I, what I'm really uh, impressed with is the red exanthic stuff. And even the het stuff, you can tell. You can he tell that it's a het. So even if you're producing it, all your heads, they, they got a visual to them. And it's just amazing. This happens to be a Mojave. Uh, head red exanthic. Ooh, doesn't like the camera. But yeah, you can you can definitely tell. Um, so with that one, that one's pretty beefy already. In fact, I gotta upgrade that one's bin because it's it's like nine hundred grams already. So definitely needs to move on up. And then I got a pastel red exanthic. I'll show you guys that one. And this one's already breeder size. The problem is I got no males. I got no red exanthic males. So if you know somebody's got a nice powerhouse red exanthic male, tell them to shoot me a message because I need me a mail. I missed something. It's a codom. What? What? What do you mean it's a codom? What? How is a exanthic a codom, man? What the heck? Heterodexanthic. Hetero exanthic. It's a yeah, it's a het. Am I missing some? Are we talking about something else? Please, uh, I I must have missed some. Oh, I got, I got what you're saying. All right. All right. One copy of the gene. Exactly. Yes.
So if it's one copy of the gene, don't you need two copies of it? Which means is that it's a recessive, right? Not a true exanthic. Nope. Okay, now I'm now I'm confused all over again. Now I, now, now I feel like okay, I got me a red exanthic thinking it was a recessive gene. Now I'm hearing it's not a recessive gene. I guess I need to dig into this. Who, all right, who specializes in red exanthic? Because I need to be talking to somebody. Incomplete dominant. Okay. Well, let me kick the guy's butt that called it exanthic and confused everybody, okay? Shouldn't be doing that. Right, but I wouldn't call a pastel a head pastel, right? Or I wouldn't call it head super pastel. I just call it a pastel. Corey Woods Reptiles. All right. The guy, the guy who named it was an ass. <laughs> well, sounds like uh, s there was something wrong there because he named it Exantic. And Exantic is a recessive, correct? Please correct me if I'm wrong. But so we got obviously your all your regular exantics, your VPI, and your all your different lines. So why name something red exantic if it ain't a freaking recessive as well? Why confuse everybody? That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. All right, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll be looking up this Corey Woods guy. Maybe I'll be nice about giving him a piece of my mind about calling it Xanthic. I mean, yeah, I guess that's always possible. But if you named it, can't you rename it? Shouldn't you have that right to rename something? Or the powers to be make them change it. Who are the powers to be? I don't even know. World of Ball Pythons, are they the uh, authority on official naming? I feel there's some breeders that don't need uh, World of Ball Pythons. Or a morph market for naming purposes. You know, like Justin. He could probably just name whatever he wants to name anything at this point, And the rest of the world would just go with it. Hey, Iron Dog, thanks for jumping on. We're debating the naming of snakes. And why the hell we would name something red exanthic when it's not a recessive. Like Batman, Pompeii. I mean, you know, he he can he can slap a name on anything, and it's just gonna it's gonna flow. It's gonna stick, and he doesn't need approval from any uh, websites for naming. Yeah, I mean, I mean, don't you know the thing is Pompeii 
is definitely a gorgeous snake. Um, I don't think I would ever attempt to honestly even make it. I mean, it's so, number one, it's so um, complicated uh, to make it. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just worth the, the effort to try to achieve that. I mean, the, the, the bottom line is the only person that would ever buy a snake like that is somebody that can just dump money like on a Lamborghini, um, or, you know, another, uh, super breeder, you know, that obviously wants all those and wants to jump straight into the project. I just can't imagine uh, throwing that, that kind of money when the odds of reproducing some like that, you know, are very, very, very slim. I mean, so what? He, I think he j just got his second one uh, this year. So um, it's, yeah. I mean, definitely not some I would attempt, you know. Um, but, I mean, I can see why Justin did it, right? Because it's a first. But it's done. It's done. I don't think I would attempt to do that, you know, but I can understand why he would want to because it's a first. So, but it's definitely a cool snake. You know, honestly, the first time I saw it, um, it when I first saw it, I was like, Man, is that a blood python? Because um, I've seen some bloods with those types of markings and that type of pattern. Uh, and that coloration and that's so initially that was like like I I just saw the snake I didn't see the the main post or anything and I was like is that a blood python uh, and obviously you had to look closer at the head and and, and then look, look look a little further into the the post but that was my initial thought when I first first kind of glimpsed an eye on it I don't know anybody what everybody else's thoughts on that is but like, I don't know. It's a great looking snake, but I mean, yeah. What's everybody else working on? And who's got some stuff for me? Because I, I need me some super powerhouse males, uh, pides, and I need a uh, super powerhouse uh, clown. Um, I mean, unless you got a clown pied with other codons i mean I, I'll, I'll go for that I, i'm good with that all in one i could do that uh but yeah i'm really short guys i got um 10 more uh it was 10 more when i counted yeah 10 more females that hit 1500 grams during my last weigh-in I got another 10 that are over 1300 grams. Um, so, you know, and as you know, I'm pairing all year. So if they're not, if they're not dropping eggs, I'm, I keep pairing them. So, uh, I don't have any ultra male right now in, in my collection. So I really didn't plan on, on going that way. Um, Cause I'm, I'm already doing like, I knows I'm doing uh candino, uh, the candy stuff. Um, you know, some people tell me I got way too much stuff already, <coughs> Kendra. Um, and I'm just spread really thin as far as my projects. Um, just because they're, they go in so many different directions. But I don't know. I do a lot of shows and I enjoy the shows. And I feel like at, at a show, you know, you got to have like a lot of versus, you know, a lot of different color options and schemes and stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're laughing. Yeah. Love you too. Um, so, but yeah. So, so that's my thing. I just want a lot of, a lot of different stuff. Um, but the, the problem with hangs is you need a lot of different males. And unfortunately, I was male heavy. If you li if you watch my videos from a year ago, I was like, I got too many males. I can't say that anymore. I don't have enough males. 
because I bought so many females over the last 18 months and I had so many holdbacks over the last uh, two years that now I'm getting into that issue and I can't imagine what's going to happen next year because like guys, all right. If you look at this rack right here, this beautiful rack, and hopefully I don't lose you guys. I got 10% battery left. Anyway, this whole rack right here, okay? Uh, this side is for sale right here. Uh, this side is my uh, smaller uh, males under uh, 750 grams. Some of them still breeding, so I, I use some of them for breeding, uh, like like my Cypress Mojave, uh, uh, my uh, Orange Dream Yellow Belly, uh, 50% Head Pied, my Highway Candino. Uh, so there's there's stuff in here that that I'm using, but all this right down the center here, back females so yeah because you know both of these are full of females and they're definitely all will be uh ready here in the next i would say six to seven months um this whole rack is already ready like this is all solid breeders and already half of that is solid breeders so uh gonna have some some serious issues if i don't get some more powerhouse males um so yeah, but um, all right, am I back? Am I back? Anyway, don't know if you guys heard any of that because I'm losing internet again. I don't know what's going on. All right, but I better cut it uh, so I don't lose the uh, the upload, um, and I'm under ten percent battery. So. But guys, I appreciate you jumping on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these two cuttings. If you're watching this after the fact, maybe you missed the notification. If you think you're supposed to get my notification and you're not, turn off the bell, turn it back on. Hopefully you'll start getting them. Hopefully you'll start clicking on them so YouTube thinks you're interested and you keep getting them. If you keep not clicking on them, then YouTube thinks you're no longer interested, and yeah, at least that's what I'm understanding. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, we'll get more clutches to drop. I got to do some other videos, so uh, drop me in the comments ideas of what type of videos you guys want to see. But till next time, guys, love you, God bless, and have a good one. Till next time, bye, guys.